Hey everybody, what is going on? Uh, so yeah, just uh, something a little bit different. Uh, so of course, coming up next month is the uh, midnight premiere of The Rise of Skywalker, the new Star Wars film. And because me and my friends, we always do a big deal for the midnight premieres, like, yeah, where those nerds that get dressed up in costumes and stuff. I mean, going way back to the prequels, uh, I used to rock a pretty cool... When I say cool, like in nerd terms, <laughs> uh, Anakin Skywalker costume, uh, and yeah, over the years with the sequel trilogy um, I, and the spin-off movies, I've done things like uh, worn my Darth Vader costume, which I ended up having to sell because that thing was way too hot. Uh, I've also been a tropical stormtrooper for Rogue One because, of course, the planet Scarif was a tropical planet, and I just figured, you know. Stormtroopers, yeah, they, they like to party, you know, they like to have their days off and uh, kick back with some, some mojitos and, and catch the waves or something. I, I don't really know. Um, and of course, Darth Jar Jar was a really big hit. That one, uh, yeah, that one was so much fun to do. Uh, but yeah, for the final one, uh, I was kind of thinking... I wanted to do something pretty cool, and so uh, there was one character that I've been interested in uh, going dressed up as, and that was Kylo Ren, because, of course, I have the helmet, which is right there on the tip of my finger, uh, and I have the lightsaber as well, uh, and yeah, so I thought, look, yeah, you know, last one, I'll splash out a little and buy the costume, so uh, I went with this company, I think they're called x -Cosa. I don't really know how it's pronounced, but it, it's spelled that way. So I'm going to go with Xcoza. Um, because, yeah, they've got a really good reputation. Like, apparently their costumes are quite good. Ugh, and I'm swapping arms because ugh, this arm's tired now. Um, and, yeah, I went with them. Uh, they had a pretty good uh, Episode Nine Rise of Skywalker Kylo Ren costume. Um, and, anyway, it arrived yesterday, but I wasn't home. So there was a delivery slip on my door. So... I'm about to go and pick it up. Ah, alrighty. So, uh, <laughs> first thing that I notice about this is that the box is rather small. Like, for an entire costume, I don't know. It just seems very small, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I guess, you know, it's a costume, so like it can fold up and everything. So yeah, I, I still have faith in them. Uh, yeah, so anyway, let's get this sucker opened up. Uh, and we'll have a look at exactly how it looks. And I'm, I'm kind of hoping it's gonna fit because when you order things from China or, you know, places like that, um, you got to be careful about the sizes. Because, um, actually, funny thing, uh, years ago, back when The Force Awakens first came out, uh, I did order a Kylo Ren costume off uh, one of those apps like Wish or Geek or something. And when it arrived, like, it was a really good looking costume. Like, don't get me wrong, the quality was amazing. Um, but, yeah, it was way too small. And I uh, asked them if I could get a refund or something, and they actually refunded my money but told me to keep the costume, which was really bizarre. And I ended up selling it on eBay for like a couple of hundred bucks. So, um, yeah, that was an interesting money making little thing. But, uh, yeah, anyway, this time around, uh, I've hopefully ordered the right size. I've, I've gone a size up. Um, and I do know that this company has a better reputation than most, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that everything is going to go really well with this. Uh, yeah. Alrighty, moment of truth, here we go. So, uh, that is the gloves, that would be the belt, and, uh, and the rest of it. Okay, so, oh yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Well, yeah, so far. <laughs> okay, so this is... Ah, okay, that's actually pretty neat. Uh, one thing I was a little concerned about was having to wear, like, two layers of clothing, like, with the two, you know, with the shirt and the tunic, but it's actually one piece. I really, really dig that. I actually dig that a lot. Uh, cause that's going to make it a lot cooler to wear. 
Um, oh, it actually comes with pants. I didn't think this thing came with pants. Um, that being said, I'm pretty sure in his episode 9 costume, he's got like leather sort of pants. And I do have a pair of like fake leather pants, so I was planning on wearing those. I think the only thing I need to get for this costume is a pair of boots, but yeah, that's not going to be too difficult. And here we have the cape and hood and stuff, which, okay, so the hood is actually stitched together, which, uh, I think from pictures I've seen, I think his hood just falls back anyway. I don't think he wears it too often. I don't know. I could be wrong. Ugh. And there's a, so, oh, okay. It ties together with a couple of straps, which, uh, hmm. I don't know, let's we'll see how that turns out, because I don't want to have a big <laughs> a big bow in front of me or something. That's just not going to look good. I guess you could tuck it into the thing. I don't know. We'll see how this goes, shall we? All right, so first impressions of this costume, it's good. It is really good. Uh, i got to admit, I am, yeah, as far as ordering a size up, like, it does feel a tiny little bit big, not to the point where I would send it back or anything. Actually, if anything, it's it's really comfortable. It's just a teeny, teeny little bit looser. Uh, so keep that in mind if you guys are ordering a costume from them. Yeah, like I don't think they go by the traditional Chinese, you know, standards or whatever. I still haven't quite figured out how the straps on this cape are going to go because uh, yeah, the cape's really good. Um, it's, and again, it's lightweight, it's comfortable, uh, yeah, it feels great, but I just don't know what to do with these things, because, yeah, uh, they kind of, you know, sit there at the front. Alright, so I'm jumping this little bit into the video, because uh, it's a little bit later on now, I've had some time to think about this, I didn't actually get to, um, to look it up online, but, uh, one thing I figured out with these straps, after giving it some thought, is that what I suspect you're supposed to do is actually tie it around the back, uh, which is going to be a two-person job because, uh, yeah, this is going to be extremely difficult to do by myself. But, uh, yeah, if you tie it, uh, this cape actually just kind of stays on and looks pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, so that is how I believe it works. Uh, not only that, when I was, um, yeah, playing around with this, I actually noticed on these sleeves here, uh, I don't know if you can see, but, uh, no, you can't. <laughs> the, um, oh, here we go. The sleeves actually have a zipper. Um, so yeah, they're actually detachable from the tunic thingy. So that's pretty cool. But look, overall, I really dig this costume. Yeah, it is really comfortable. Uh, it breathes really well. I'm glad that I'm not wearing two layers on this thing. I love so much that that right there is just all one part of the costume. That is freaking genius, whoever came up with that idea. Uh, the belt's really easy to put on. It just Velcro's around the back, so, you know, there's a lot of room to move in there, whether you, you know, like eat a lot over Christmas and you're like, oh, I want to put on my Kylo Ren costume, but holy crap, I got so much food inside me. It doesn't matter. You can adjust it. It's fine. Um, what else can I say about it? Uh, actually, let me just try the gloves. Hang on one second. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, yeah, I haven't even tried these on yet, but uh, ah, yeah, they fit beautifully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Because I do have rather large hands, which, uh, you know, Hey ladies, hey. Yeah, I don't know what that means. But anyway, uh, yeah, no, the gloves are great. Uh, yeah, I, I really like everything about this costume. It is really comfortable uh, and I feel really good. And uh, yeah, all I'm gonna get is a pair of black boots and I'm good to go, so. Uh, of course, one thing I am gonna have to do is paint red cracks into this helmet. Because in episode 9, Kylo's put his helmet back together and it's got all these like red cracks in it and it looks really cool. Uh, initially I tried using electrical tape because I didn't want to permanently, you know, paint it red or whatever. But yeah, it was almost a good idea, but the tape didn't quite work. Uh, but I have found a washable red paint. It's like a screen printing ink or something. Um, so I'm actually going to use that. I tested it out on some plastic and like a week later it washed off really well. So uh, yeah, I am going to get to work and paint red cracks onto this guy's helmet. Anyway, um, yeah, 
that's pretty much all I got to say about it. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. And if you guys were watching this, uh, thinking to yourselves, hmm, I might get one of the costumes from these people. Uh, yeah, do it. I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out. Um, yeah, I do not feel compelled to send it back in any sort of way. And uh, I am now very much looking forward to wearing it on December 19th. So um, yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time. Click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest movie reviews. Skynet will be taking over any day now. So what have you got to lose? Nyaa.